explore more question on a differential equation now in this video we have taken the mixed type of a differential equation not a particular stage starting with the first question if e raised to power k x is the solution of this differential equation then what is the value of k what we can do we have two ways to answer this question one is you can find the solution accordingly find the value of k second if this is a solution of this differential equation, what we can do, we can substitute over here. So if we say that y is equal to e raised to power k x is the solution, find its first order derivative. Its first order derivative is k times of e raised to power k x because k is constant and we are taking derivative with respect to x. Then take its second order derivative. Its second order derivative is k square e raised to power k x. Substitute these values over here. What we have 4, this is k square e raised to power kx plus 7 times of k e raised to power kx plus 3 times of e raised to power kx is equal to 0. From here, we can extract the coefficient of e raised to power kx. So we have 4 k square plus 7k plus 3 e raised to power kx is equal to 0. Now this quantity is 0. Either this quantity is 0 or e raised to power kx is 0. Now this cannot be 0 because it is a solution of this differential equation. So we will keep 4k square plus 7k plus 3 is equal to 0. And same in case you find the auxiliary equation, rather than k, it is on a m. So either you can follow this procedure or you can write the auxiliary equation. Now from here, either find the root or you can check from the option. If we take the first case, when we take k is equal to 1. In this case, 4 into 1 plus 7 into 1 plus 3. This is not is equal to 0. It means this is not the option. For this case, can it be the answer? No. If you observe that these are the positive quantity and here each term is a positive. And when you substitute these values, it cannot be the answer. And the last option is there that is a negative. You just need to check whether this satisfies or not. Let's check it whether this is a solution or not. Take k is equal to minus 3 by 4. So what we have 4 minus 3 by 4 square is that is 9 by 16. And that will be a positive quantity plus 7 into minus 3 by 4 plus 3. So from here what we have this is, is equal to 9 by 4 and this is minus 21 by 4 plus 3. Simplify this one. When you simplify this, this is 9 minus 21 by 4 plus 3. So this is, is equal to minus 12 and by 4 plus 3. minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So it means yes D is the only correct option in this case. Okay. Next question is the lowest order of the differential equation whose particular solution is this? We just need to observe this one before identifying the order of differential equation. Cos 5x is only possible whenever we have the root as plus minus 5 iota and if i am writing cos of 5x into some constant plus c2 sin of 5x so in this case in order to get this form we can take c2 is equal to 0 and the value of c1 is equal to 3 and that is the particular solution as 3 cos 5x and this is possible whenever we have complex roots or always occur in a pair it means it is of the form quadratic equation. So it means definitely the minimum power of a differential equation is 2 only because of this factor. Now what about the sine hyperbolic x? So sine hyperbolic x is always supplanted first in form of an exponential. In general, sine hyperbolic x is equal to e raised to power x minus e raised to power minus x by 2. So in this case the angle is 3x. So we can write in this case e raised to power 3x 
minus e raised to power minus 3x divided by 2. This is equal to 1 by 2 e raised to power 3x minus 1 by 2 e raised to power minus 3x. Now instead of constant if I write this is equal to c1 times of e raised to power 3x plus c2 e raised to power minus 3x. It get converted into the general solution. And this solution is only possible when the values of m is equal to 3 and minus 3. Again two roots are there. Total number of roots in this case is that is 4. These are the roots of auxiliary equation. And if there are a 4 roots of auxiliary equation, then the lowest order of the differential equation is 4. Next question is, if we have a second order differential equation of this form and its auxiliary equation roots are real as well as it is thick, this is possible when? So we can find in this case auxiliary equation as a m square minus b m plus c is equal to 0. So how to find the roots in this case? This is equal to m is equal to minus times of coefficient of m that is minus b plus minus under root minus b square minus 4 into a into c divided by 2a. So we can write this is equal to b plus minus under root b square minus 4 into a into c by 2. Now the question is we need a real. Real means this quantity must be greater than 0. Greater than equal to 0. But the point is we also need a distinct means we need a different values and that is only possible when it is not as equal to 0. So it means this quantity must be greater than 0. From here what we have b square minus 4ac must be greater than 0. And from the option it is saying that greater than or equal to 0. And if it is so, it means the roots are real as well as they are equal. If we are taking equality form. From here it means the roots are exactly equal. In this case, it means roots are complex. So answer is D option. Next question is, these two are the solution of which differential equation? So we directly extract the values of m from here. In the previous video, I have already explained how to write the differential equation directly from the auxiliary root. From here, write the auxiliary root. Auxiliary roots are minus 3 iota. In this case, that is plus 3 iota. Now write the auxiliary equation from here. So auxiliary equation has a term m square m and some constant is equal to 0 alternative sign plus minus plus for this one addition of these two one is 0 multiplication of these two one minus 3 iota into 3 iota that is minus 9 into iota square and the value of iota square is minus 1 so this is, is equal to positive 9 simplify this we have m square plus 9 is equal to 0 from here we have a differential equation of order 2 that is second order derivative plus no m. There is no need to write the derivative over here. Just write 9 into y is equal to 0 and with this option c is correct. Next question is if d minus a into y is equal to some function of x then y is equal to 1 upon operator form into x is evaluated which of the form. What we can do if you observe from the option there is e raised to power ax e raised to power minus ax form. So what we can do we can write this as is equal to 1 by d minus a let's create e raised to power ax form. So if I write e raised to power ax now this is completely incorrect. To correct this one I have taken the additional term minus ax. So e raised to power ax minus e raised to power ax is 0. So e raised to power 0 is 1. We are getting the same term over here. So this can be written as 1 upon d minus a into x 
e raised to power ax into e raised to power minus ax. Now we need to form integration. Integration is only possible when we have 1 by d. It means we need to remove minus a. How we can remove that one? If you observe, it is some function of x into exponential. In that case, first we can operate exponential and d is replaced by d plus a. So if I plus a over here, in that case, it automatically get converted into 1 by d. So I will operate e raised to power ax rather than e raised to power minus ax first. Because in this case, this term is getting 0 from the denominator. So operating e raised to power ax, 1 upon, now the function is d is shifted by a. This minus a is as it is. Now this x is as it is. This term is as it is. This is equal to e raised to power ax, 1 upon d, x e raised to power minus ax. Now 1 upon d means it is an integration. So we can write this as equal to e raised to power ax integration of x e raised to power minus ax with respect to x. According to this, option A is correct. Next question is which of the following is true? So it is 1 upon operator form e raised to power ax into cos px. So it is operating exponential. In case of exponential, when we are operating, d is replaced by d plus a. But it is saying that d plus b, that is incorrect. We need to take the coefficient of x from the exponential term, not from the cos form. In this case, d square is here and they are taking cos px outside and this is incorrect form. In C option, e raised to power ax into x square. In this case, we have e raised to power ax outside. Yes, correct. It means d is shifted by d plus a, but it is writing d minus a. That means it is incorrect. Check for the D option. e raised to power ax outside. Correct. d must be replaced by d plus a. Yes. And x square as it is. Yes. It means answer is d. Next question is, what are the characteristic roots of the homogeneous linear differential equation having this as, as a particular solution? We can answer this question by two approaches. First approach is, take the option. From the option, if you want to write the general solution, what we have? In this case, c1 e raised to power 0x plus c2 e raised to power 2x. This is equal to c1 plus c2 e raised to power 2x. Now, if you observe this one, c1 is equal to 4 and we need this term in a general solution and that is not available. It means this is not the correct option. Same for this one. If you write the general solution in this case, we have this form. And in particular solution, if you observe this one, the value of c1 is 0 because there is no 4x. And in this case, e raised to power 2x is there. But it is multiplied by x and here no x is there. It means c2 is also 0. But we are not getting the solution from here. It means that is not the correct option. From the d option, it is c1 e raised to power 4x plus c2 e raised to power 2x plus c3 because the roots are repeating we can write x into e raised to power 2x. Now compare this one. From here the value of c1 is 0. Because there is no e raised to power 4x term. From here and here, c2 is again 0. Because there is no single term e raised to power 2x. And yes, it contains x e raised to power 2x as well as this one. So from here, the value of c3 is 1. But we are not getting a 4 term from here. It means that is also an incorrect option. From the d1, we can write c1 e raised to power 0x plus c2 e raised to power 2x plus c3 x e raised to power 2x. Check it. If I write c1 is equal to 4, we are getting a first term. We have second term as x e raised to power 2x. Even it has x into e raised to power 2x. And in this case, coefficient c3 is replaced by 1. 
there is a no term e raised to power 2x it means the constant term c2 is 0 so we can derive the particular solution from this general solution it means d is the correct answer second approach is you can observe this is 4 plus x e raised to power 2x 4 whenever we have a constant term we can multiply e raised to power 0x to get the values of root of characteristic equation plus this is x e raised to power 2x this is only possible when we have a repeated root because it is get multiplied by x so this can be derived from c1 e raised to power 2x plus c2 x e raised to power 2x it means in this case the value of c1 is 0 and the value of c2 is 1 and from here what are the characteristic roots that is 0 and here 2 and from here 2 directly we will get the option d next question is what is the general solution of this differential equation so this is a homogeneous equation we just need to calculate the complementary function in this case it is the order 4 differential equation it means 4 constants are there in the answer but in option a and b we have 2 and 3 constant it means we can directly discard a and b next write the auxiliary equation directly from here it's a fourth order derivative we can write m raised to power 4 minus twice of second order derivative m square is equal to 0 collect m square outside we have m square minus 2 is equal to 0 from here we have two roots 0 and 0 and from here we can write m square is equal to 2 m is equal to plus minus under root so according to this it is a, a times of e raised to power 0x plus b times of x e raised to power 0x because the repeater are roots are there so we need to multiply by x plus some constant e raised to power root 2x plus some constant e raised to power minus root 2 into x and this answer is available in option d.